Hello everybody, this is Buddy Craig. I um, got my car back from the body shop uh, on Thursday, and uh, then I had to make a trip down to Arkansas uh, to be with the family over the weekend. So I really didn't have a time, chance to check the car out, uh, but um, you, you'll notice the, the screaming bright red paint on the front bumper. Um, very first thing I noticed when I pulled into my driveway Thursday night when I got home, I pulled in the driveway and the passenger side headlight that they had to replace, a car's length away from my garage door, this headlight was shining about 10 inches higher than the other side. So they didn't aim my headlights. That kind of, that, <laughs> wow, okay, well that's something you can, pretty simple to do, so I, Popped open the hood to aim my headlight, and I immediately noticed that the little rubber bumper that's supposed to fit in that slot, I'll show you the one over on the other side, that's what it's supposed to look like. One over on this side, not there. I'm like, okay, that's it. <laughs> now you're getting sloppy, guys. You gotta dot your I's and cross your T's. Uh, then I noticed that this air shield, this shield is supposed to help control the airflow through the radiator and the AC condenser. All right, <clears throat> this one here, I'll admit that I did not have a plastic pop-in Christmas tree plug. I just had a zip tie there holding this in place. But someone took a screwdriver or something, you can see by this scratch here, Someone took a screwdriver and just popped that zip tie loose, and then they didn't do anything about it. When they put this back in place, they didn't put in one of the little Christmas tree holders. This right here, that's supposed to be tucked under the fender, not on top of it. This little, um, that, that's right, but really, come on, really, you're going you're gonna to do that? So I... I wasn't impressed there. So the headlight wasn't aimed, missing a couple little cheapy pieces. But wait, let's get, now let's go underneath the car to where the really fun stuff starts. Okay, we are now underneath the car, underneath the front bumper on the driver's side. You see this wadded up piece of flexible rubber? That is supposed to be directing air through the condenser and the radiator, not wadded up in front of the condenser. Because it is blocking, let's see if we can see it. Yep, you can see it through there. It is blocking that very first hole and half of the second hole on the front bumper. That's the only place the air comes in through the radiator on the front of this car. And they're blocking that small hole and half of this hole. So they're blocking a third of the airflow that's supposed to go through my condenser and radiator. So that <laughs> was not put back up in place. Now let's just pull it down here. Look up a little higher. There's another rubberized flexible piece of plastic that uh, it's obviously not in place either because it is blocking the uh, top corner of the radiator or the condenser rather than directing air flow through it it is completely blocking it um, little trivial thing over here they had to take the splash shield off um, to uh, replace the front bumper cover that screw, they must have just grabbed a hold of this piece of plastic and yanked it down and popped it off of this screw rather than taking the time to unscrew that out. Because I've been underneath this car, I don't know, I've owned this car maybe four years now. I would have noticed that. Because uh, I'm not a body guy, but I am a mechanic. So I'm going to forward this, uh, I'm going to need to put this video up on YouTube as private and send the link. I don't even, I don't know what else. I'm just changing the oil. I'm giving my car an oil change. 
after the uh, trip down to Arkansas. So I don't know what else I'm going to find unusual about their repair, but I'm going to make this video on YouTube. Make it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the headlight. I don't think the headlight bracket is all the way down into the uh, cross member that goes across the front of it. <sighs> really? Um, I'm going to make this video private and I'm going to uh, email the link to the owner of the body shop that I took my car to, which I've been I've been a parts guy for 18 years, and I really had a lot of respect for these guys by the way that they treated me when they were my customer buying body parts. Uh, when I was at a Nissan and Hyundai dealership, they would buy a sheet metal for me. And the way they treated me is the reason I went to them, and I... I just think I need to bring this to the attention of the owner and or manager of the shop because of this I don't I feel that they would not be happy knowing that this is the quality of work that they are sending out of their shop so I'm gonna put this on YouTube and hopefully they will make arrangements with me to make this right versus me having to fix all this stuff myself Thanks, everybody. Good night.